Hello and welcome to Real Science for Kids. The videos in this series are the advanced experiments for level one chemistry. The title of this experiment is Making Marshmallow Molecules. Have fun discovering real science with Rebecca. Hi, I'm Dr. Rebecca Keller. For this experiment, the objective is to learn how atoms fit together by making marshmallow molecules. Now, making a marshmallow molecule is a way to model molecules. I have white marshmallows and I also have these pink marshmallows and I have a number of different colored marshmallows for the small marshmallows and we can use these different colors to represent different atoms. We're not going to use any bonding rules to make these molecules and we're just going to make whatever we want to make with as many different toothpicks and as many different marshmallows as we want. We can use the little marshmallows. In fact, it's difficult to get more than one toothpick in there on the little marshmallow. And we can use these colored marshmallows. But you can see we can make all different kinds of molecules. So really, the possibilities are infinite. I could make any combination of marshmallow molecules, small marshmallows, large marshmallows, different numbers of, of toothpicks. Really, I can just make as many as I want. So the next part of the experiment is to assign atoms to the marshmallows. So the large marshmallows are gonna be carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen, and the small marshmallows are gonna be hydrogen or chlorine. We're also gonna assign rules. So for the carbon atom, it's going to have four toothpicks, and all four of the toothpicks are going to be pointing away from each other. So I'm gonna put them in here about like that. So all the toothpicks are pointing away from each other, and that's a carbon atom. For the nitrogen atom, there, the nitrogen is going to have three toothpicks and the toothpicks are going to be pointing downward and that's going to be my model for a nitrogen atom. Uh, the oxygen has two toothpicks. So this is oxygen, this is nitrogen, and this is carbon. And then the hydrogen and the chlorines are both going to have just one toothpick or they're going to be able to, to, to stick to one toothpick. So the first molecule that we're going to make is water. So water is H2O. So we need an oxygen uh, marshmallow with two toothpicks and two hydrogens. And the hydrogens are going to go right there on the ends of the toothpicks. And so this is a model of a water molecule, an oxygen with two hydrogens. So that's the water molecule. And the next molecule we're asked to make is ammonia. So that's a nitrogen with three hydrogens. So the hydrogens are the green marshmallows. So I'm gonna put three green marshmallows on the nitrogen, on the uh, nitrogen toothpicks. So this is ammonia, um, nitrogen with three hydrogens. So this is a little model of ammonia and it looks about like that. And then next is the um, methane. So that's a carbon with four hydrogens. So this is my carbon atom and it has four toothpicks and I'm gonna put four hydrogens on there. And now this becomes a model of methane. So the last molecule we're gonna make is methanol. And methanol has a carbon three hydrogens on the carbon attached to an oxygen that also has a hydrogen. So we have a carbon atom here with four toothpicks and I have an oxygen, remember, that has two toothpicks. So this is kind of tricky. We need to add these two molecules together and still follow all the rules. So in order to do that, I'm going to take out one of the toothpicks from the carbon and I'm going to add the oxygen. And you can see when I do that, I keep all the rules. The carbon atom has four toothpicks and the oxygen still has two toothpicks, okay? And now there are four hydrogens on methanol, so I'm gonna put the hydrogens here, 
carbon has three of these hydrogens attached to it. So they go on the three toothpicks that are open for the carbon. And then the last hydrogen goes on the oxygen, like so. So you can see that now this is a model for methanol. It's a carbon with four bonds, four toothpicks, and an oxygen with two toothpicks, and then four hydrogens, one, two, three on the carbon, and one on the oxygen. We think about the rules for the different atoms, and we can put together any kind of molecules we want, but we have to follow the rules. So for hydrogens, I could take hydrogen, and it's, it has one toothpick, and I could put another hydrogen on there, and in fact I can make a hydrogen molecule, and you can see that both of the hydrogens follow the rule. They each have one toothpick. I can do the same for chlorine. I can do the same for an oxygen. So I can actually change this up a little bit and I can put the two toothpicks at the bottom, but I can also add another oxygen to those two toothpicks at the bottom and I can make an oxygen molecule that has two oxygens and you can see that the oxygens still follow the rules. Each oxygen still has two toothpicks. And I can make more complicated molecules. I could make a molecule like this one, which is ethanol. And it has um, an oxygen here with two toothpicks and a hydrogen. And this has a carbon molecule here with four toothpicks and two hydrogens. And this is another carbon here with three hydrogens. And you can see that all of these atoms follow the rules. The hydrogens all form one bond or have one toothpick. The oxygen has two and each of the carbons has four. And I can also make a molecule that's a little bit more complicated. This is a long hydrocarbon with a couple of chlorines. And for this molecule, I have carbons that are bonded, have two toothpicks on one side and one toothpick on the other side with some hydrogens. And I have a couple of chlorines over here, but this molecule also follows all of the rules. So make as many different molecules as you can for this next step using the marshmallows uh, assigned to the different atoms and following the rules. The modeling for the molecules is actually very useful because one of the things that I learned is that the number of molecules I can make following the rules is far fewer than the number of molecules I can make not following the rules. And this is actually an important uh, aspect of chemistry. Uh, atoms follow rules to make molecules and they don't just bond indiscriminately with other atoms. One of the things that I've observed as I've been playing with the molecules is that if I have this uh, single bond here. In other words, I have only one toothpick. These marshmallows can rotate. And in fact, atoms can rotate easily around single bonds, just like I'm showing you here. But with a double bond, in other words, when I have two toothpicks, they don't rotate as easily. And because I had to play with these in my hands, I've noticed something that these molecules with single bonds are very floppy. These molecules with some double bonds are much more stiff. This one in particular is really floppy because it's single bonds all over the place. And that's actually true. The molecules that are formed with single bonds are very different than the molecules that are formed with double bonds. So that's another conclusion that just came out by doing this experiment. Wow, it's been a lot of fun building all these marshmallow molecules. Thanks for discovering real science with me. I'll see you next time. Discovering Real Science with Rebecca is presented by Gravitas Publications Incorporated in collaboration with Burt Johnson Video Productions. Visit us at webbizvideos.com. But don't go away just yet. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello. This is very difficult to have a cat as an assistant because they're unpredictable. My name is Dr. No. I don't want my name. I want I'm. Okay. I'm. I am. I am. I am. I am. Eat the marshmallows. These small marshmallows are very tempting to eat because they're bite size. Okay, now we're finished. <laughs> <laughs>